On February 6, 2015, Washburn University celebrated an historic milestone in its history. We celebrated our sesquicentennial, or as I prefer to say, our 150th anniversary. My name is Jerry Farley, president of Washburn University. From the founding of the university in 1865 until now, it has evolved to be a 21st century institution marked by years of productivity, innovative, and pioneering achievements. So it goes without saying, this is a great juncture at which to reflect just a little, talk about where we are now just a little, and speculate on the future of Washburn University just a little bit more. So join me as we go back to the future by visiting with some people from our past. In 1966, it was the summer before my freshman year in college, I got a job at Washburn in the work study program. Well, um, I uh, always wanted to be in the medical field. And when I graduated from Topeka High in 1970, I really wanted to go into pre-med. So I um, enrolled in Washburn and um, I started my my educational career here, so. I um, was assigned here from French Morocco in 1959. Uh, came to Kansas uh, with my family, wife and two children and. Uh, we moved to Topeka when I was three and a half. Um, my dad came back for law school. I did leave the first year and went to Pittsburgh State University. Did not like that at all and came home and was very pleased to be back at the hometown at Washburn University. It was fun, it was great, I was home again. There were a lot of people that I knew. Good school, lots of fun. My dad told me that if I wanted to go to be a lawyer, I should go to Washburn Law School, not KU Law School. So I came here in 76. And two and a half years later, I finished with my degree in nursing in December 1978. It was a mile wide, the biggest, one of the biggest tornadoes ever in the United States, and it went right through the center of Topeka, and it just demolished the Washburn campus. And I actually watched on television as the Great Crane Observatory was leveled, and I had just locked it up about an hour and a half before that. I think it was about one week before the tornado hit Washburn's campus. I signed a letter of intent to come to Washburn University and play football. Uh, I was just delighted to, to have an opportunity to go here. Uh, I'd heard some very positive things about Washburn and I know folks who had attended here and graduated. The school was smaller than it is now and so uh, for the most part we were all very uh, we knew each other and uh, would see each other not only on campus, but sometimes also out um, uh, uh, at uh, various uh, uh, places and, and also uh, at places where we worked as well. Washburn for me was an exciting time in that uh, I ran for homecoming and the person that selected the actual queen at that time was Joe Namath and many of you may not recall but some of you will that Joe was a big time jet star and so it was exciting that he was going to identify who became queen. Well I took camping skills and techniques and that was actually really a lot of fun. We went on a camping trip for our final and uh, the professor was pretty uh, liberal in those days and uh, we had to, we were timed to see how fast we could set up our tents and build a fire. And uh, the team that won first place got to tap the keg. So it was some pretty good times we had in camping skills and techniques. <laughs> you know, one thing I'd tell you is I still have the syllabus from one of my very first classes. It's on mimeograph paper, it smells like mimeograph ink. I have it in a box and every time I open that box I can smell that syllabus. Some of my professors, uh, I've always said, I've shared with other people, became, they were not only our professors, our instructors, but they were our friends and our mentors. The other one was kind of an off, off kilter one, but I loved her and it was Dr. Eva Fulcher who was a hard living, hard drinking, smoked cigarettes, wore skirts and sat with her legs crossed on a desk, 
talking about American literature. But she was brilliant, and what she had to say made everybody pay attention. And everyone had to take money in banking to get a BBA degree. Well, I took it once, and then I got to take it twice. So Dr. Quinn always pops to the top of my mind when I think about my BBA degree at Washburn University. Uh, so I think the purpose of an education is to make you a well-rounded human being who continues to learn throughout your life. Washburn has been successful and I think will continue to be successful because we are a teaching university. We create bonds and relationships between students and professors that, that endure for a lifetime. As you have seen and heard, Washburn has an esteemed and rich history that is best expressed by our motto, non nobis solo, which simply means not for ourselves alone. Washburn enriches the lives of students by providing opportunities for them to develop and realize their intellectual, academic, and professional potential. We develop and engage in relationships that enhance educational experiences and improve our community. We have heard from others about the past. Now, what about today? I think creating success for students really starts with hiring faculty and staff who are very committed to the student experience. And so, in my personal experience, I've seen faculty and staff who are just really eager in knowing the whole student. Uh, not only what they see in the classroom, but what happens to the student uh, in, in their whole life. I teach in the business program, and one of the things I get to do is to, that helps enhance success of our kids is not only do I get to teach them, but I try to keep one foot in the business community and I try to keep one foot in the academic community. I'm the guy for the internships and when our kids need or are, are ready to work with, with uh, the business community, I'm the person that puts them out there. It's a completely different place physically than uh, even just 14 years ago and it wasn't that bad to start. Um, and then, uh, just thinking, even again, just from the School of Business uh, perspective and, and then knowing also, um, having been involved in, in uh, university governance, how many uh, wonderful programs have been developed um, here on campus in the last couple of decades. Washburn University uh, prides itself in being a teaching university. With that in mind, we, we are here to help students succeed in the classroom. I remember the first week on the job, um, Dr. Farley called me in and said he wanted to begin the exploration of a fitness center on campus for our students. So for the next four months, in addition to working on the Living Learning Center, we were also addressing the need for um, a fitness center, which became the Student Recreation and Wellness Center, which opened up in 2004. And so I guess I, cho I chose Washington because of the community feel. I also chose Washington because it was, wasn't too far away from home. Um, and even being two hours away, I'm from Wichita, even being two hours away, I still felt like I was at home with the people that I was with. When I first came to campus, the brand new building was the Living Learning Center. And now when I come to campus every morning, I look at this campus and see an entirely different place. It's constantly growing, it's evolving. It's a gorgeous campus. It's so easy to walk around, it's constantly in flux, all for the sake of bettering it for the students. The concerts, our athletic events, lectures, um, we see people out here nightly walking their, their dogs across campus. I think they view um, Washburn as not only a place to get an education, but just a beautiful place and a beautiful addition to the community. Um, we have uh, students uh, that were uh, in the armed forces for many years. We have uh, students who have completed entire careers in, in some field and then have decided to come back. Um, so uh, every, every classroom looks a little different. I see largely a traditional student body. I don't think we look that different than most of our neighboring universities. I, I see a a working student body. I see a student body that's more and more international every time I look at it. Uh, it does not look like the student body that I saw here in 1979, that's for sure. I see a plugged in student body. I see kids that are, are, are wired in, that have 
uh, more access to technology, more access to what's going around them, students that know what's going on them on a day-to-day -day basis. Social media has, has, has created an interesting dynamic, I think, and I think some of it's positive, I think some of it's negative, I think. Um, that again, our faculty are looking for ways to integrate a lot of these new um, uh, te technological um, tools into the way they deliver teaching, the way they receive information from their students, the way they communicate with their students. I think every form by which a student can gain their education has its own benefits, has its own advantages and disadvantages. And I think for the most part it allows the student, the way Washburn University is structured, allows the student to get the education that they need, that they prefer, in the form that they best deserve, that best suits them. The future of Washburn University is bright. We've got great people, we've got great leadership, and most of all we've got great students who are accomplishing great things. Similar to other educational institutions, Washburn must continue to educate graduates for living and working in a complex global environment. As the political, business, technical, and social environments change, we must be dynamic as well, providing intellectual and practical resources that create success. You have heard a little about our past and a little about what is happening today at Washburn. But now, what about tomorrow? I think Washburn will continue to create success for students in the future um, by providing them with a quality, solid education. Uh, I think that um, students here learn how to think critically, they learn how to think analytically, um, they learn quantitative literacy, all those general education outcomes and all of those things are important to future workplaces. You know, first of all, this generation of students is significantly different than the previous ones, even 10 years ago, the millennia. Uh, millenniums, they are, they, they think differently, they see things differently. I think as we look forward, uh, technology is going to continue to play a, a greater and greater role. Um, as I've been around campus over the last few years, I see how much more technology is here than 25 and 30 years ago when I was here. And so I think one of the changes that will take place in the future is that we will know more about students and we will be able to help them, whether that relates to tutoring, whether that relates to advising, uh, the things that they will need to succeed here at Washburn. So 15 years in the future, I think, you know, looking, if, if kind of crazy to say this, it was about 15 years ago that I was at Washburn. Um, you know, if you look at the advances that Washburn has made in the past 15 years and kind of project that out into the future, I think one of the great things that's been done is to really try and enhance that student body experience. Students are going to change uh, as we look at the future of higher education. Uh, what we call the traditional student, the direct from high school student that is 18 to 22 years old, that percentage of the overall university population continues to be smaller. Uh, what we're going to see are more what are called non-traditional students, uh, people who are older that are thinking about coming back. But I think especially that the students are going to be very tech savvy and we're going to have to really um, think about that as we're designing courses for our students. Yeah, I do think the student body will be more diverse. There will be more people who need to engage in higher education at some level, whether it's at Washburn Tech or it's at Washburn University, there will be more people who have to be involved in that and by virtue of that means we're going to have a more diverse student body moving forward and we're going to have folks wanting to go to school that still may never, they may be the first generation students and that will continue and it'll come from different um, parts of our culture and from different um, ethnicities and it will be something that uh, will look very different than it is today. I think there are already professors on campus that are utilizing social media, utilizing iPhones and iPads and, and trying to engage students in learning in a way that is not maybe traditional for, for what we were used to in the classroom, but I think that's just it. And we need to educate our students very early on and uh, try to help them develop that mindset that they need to reach out. They need to look beyond our borders 
for opportunities and for uh, to develop their international competence. So um, right now I'm taking an online class and it requires a lot of posting every day and a lot of reading. I interact differently and you have to change your mindset to accommodate that kind of learning. I see in the future um, spaces on campus all over the place where teaching and learning is constantly taking place. So those things like flipped classrooms and uh, engaged classrooms and having flexible classrooms uh, because uh, teaching and learning will occur differently in the future uh, than it has for the traditional lecture uh, format in the classroom. Well, I hope to see Washburn get more embedded in our Topeka community. I hope to see Ichabods uh, everywhere and Washburn t-shirts and, and I hope that when I say I work at Washburn, uh, it's just immediately known that I'm talking about Washburn University. Mm -hmm. Speaking on behalf of the city of Topeka, I am proud that Washburn University is located here. It brings so much to this community. It makes us such a stronger community. If you really think about it, you are a student at Washburn University on campus for four years. You are an alumni for 70 or 80 years. And so the role of the foundation is to keep you connected after those four years that you spent on campus. I don't see that changing, just expanding. You and I both know there is really no way we can predict the future accurately. But I have to admit, it's entertaining to think about the possibilities. And even though we don't know exactly what the future holds, I am reasonably certain that Washburn will continue to hold on to its core values, values of integrity, excellence, accountability, respect, collaboration, and innovation. For the future, our goals are the same as they have been in the past and as they are today, to serve the Topeka community and the surrounding area to provide a high quality education that is within the reach of each student. To continue to have approachable faculty members with professors who actually know the student's name and class. To make sure education is affordable. To provide something for everyone through a vibrant and engaging campus. And to help each student realize their dreams through a Washington degree. Washburn. 